Now, what is the feature or something that we have not considered that will make the common mode gain non zero? Is there, is there any non ideal feature that will make the common mode gain non zero? What is that? Change in? No, no, that is not a, that is not a response to a signal, right. Let us say you have a set of transistors with different parameters, its gain will be different for differential gains, but the common mode behavior will still be exactly the same that is all. The question is now the output does not move if you change both the inputs together like that ok. What aspect of the circuit will make the output change? When you have a common mode input, when you have a differential input of course, it will change by a large amount, but when you have a common mode input is there anything that will make the output change? I mean first of all is there anything we have considered ideal here? What is that? The current source ok. What what is the meaning of a non ideal current source? What happens? No, I mean I want to model some non linearity non ideality of the current source. So, what should I what is the extra stuff I have to have a I have to have a resistor across that ok. Now, what happens if VICM changes or basically I have a common mode increment what do you think will happen? Voltage a voltage at the tail node. So, let us say VICM increases that is I have a positive value of the common mode increment the tail node voltage also increases. So, what happens? Yeah, so the total current here which is this I naught plus the current in R naught that will increase. So, what happens to the output voltage? It will fall right I mean this will be whatever you do this will be half of the total current and this will be half of the total current, but the total current is increasing slightly ok. What is approximately the increase? So, let us say at the operating point at the operating point this current is I naught that is when I have V i C m and V i C m there is some current flowing here that is what I call I naught ok. So, now I apply an increment plus V c m and plus V c m and this current source is known to have an output resistance R naught ok. What is the total current that is drawn from the two transistors? R naught V naught what is V s? Yeah. I mean you calculated the what is the tail increment if I increment the two sides by V c m what will be the increment in the tail voltage? Uh, uh, v c m ok that we calculated assuming an ideal current source, but approximately the same thing holds ok. If both these rise up by V c m the tail also rises up by V c m approximately we know that there is uh, some current change, but approximately that is the case. So, then what is the increase in current that is being drawn below? VCM by R naught ok. So, each of these currents instead of being I naught by 2 and I naught by 2 will be I naught by 2 plus VCM by 2 R naught. So, what is the output voltage? It is easier to calculate from this side ok. Since you brought it up now you calculate this what is the small signal voltage here? Please put down the small signal model and calculate it. Ignore the GDS for every one of these transistors, ok. So, M 1, 2, 3, 4 have GDS values of 0. You assume that the current source is not ideal. Please find the output voltage, that is all, ok. And the easy thing to do is to notice that whether you have GDS or not, this side and that side will be the same. So, you just have to find the voltage at this point. So, please do that. The small signal voltage when I apply an increment of V c m ok, when I apply a common mode increment of V c m. With a common mode input you can do the usual small signal analysis 
on each side we have an input V C M and here we just have R naught which is the uh, output resistance of the tail current source. Okay. So, that is what makes a big difference right before whatever current was going up from M 1 like this had to go up in M 2. Now, that is not necessarily the case the sum of those two is not 0. Okay. So, if I call this V S this is G M 1 times V C M minus V S this is G M 1 times V C M minus V S as well okay. and here if I call this V D 1 this is G M 3 times V D 1 and this is also G M 3 times V D 1. Okay. So, now uh, like I said you just find the voltage on this side the other side has to be the same that we have found from I mean that you cannot find from this right because this node has no resistance at all or you have to ground this and find the incremental current going out of this one. So, let me do that. So, let me terminate this in a short circuit just like I did for the uh, differential case. So, anyway the point is I mean the current here is V s by R naught and that has to be equal to 2 G m 1 V c m minus V s. Okay. So, what is V s? What is it? 2 G m 1 by 1 by R naught okay, times V c m This is fine. Where have you seen an expression like this? Source follower, yeah, GMR by GMR plus one. It is exactly the same, okay, because when these two are uh, this side and that side, they have the same excitation, right, the left and right. So, basically, I apply an input like that. So, what is this circuit? I just have I will write it as m 1 comma 2 that is like pasting m 1 and m 2 together. Okay. I mean let us not worry about what is happening at the drain because that is not relevant here and I have a current source. So, it is really just a so and a load of R naught. Okay. So, it is actually a source follower as far as common mode inputs is concerned. If you have differential inputs what is the tail node voltage? You have perfectly differential inputs plus V d by 2 minus V d by 2 what is the what is at the tail node? Nearly 0. Okay. So, the tail node does not respond for differential inputs if your uh, voltages move this way, but if both of them move together then the tail mode node moves with it and approximately by the same amount. Earlier we assumed it will move by the same amount, but there is a small uh, the this factor is slightly less than 1 that depends on the value of G m 1 times R naught. Okay. So, after this V d 1 is quite easy it is basically G m 1 times V c m minus V s and this is also G m 3 times V d 1. So, what will be this voltage minus G m 1 V c m minus V s divided by G m 3. Okay. We have a diode connected transistor here which is equivalent to a resistance of 1 by G m 3. So, it is whatever current is flowing downwards times minus 1 by G m 3 okay. and how much is this number? V c m minus V s it is 1 by 2 g m 1 or not plus 1 times V c m. Okay. So, this voltage V d 1 is minus g m 1 by g m 3 times that okay. times that. Is that okay? So, when you have a differential pair like this when you with perfect matching whatever change you see here you will see on that side. Okay. So, the voltage output will be in fact equal to this. You can also find the current here how much current will be flowing there? How much current will be flowing out if you terminate the differential pair in an incremental short circuit? How much? 0 because I mean this is again a perfect current mirror right. 
So, this current was equal to this current. So, it is mirrored here nothing flows out there ok. So, again it does not react to common mode it is just another way of showing that ok. Is this fine? So, anyway the voltage gain the small signal voltage gain of a differential pair what is it for differential signals? What is that? J 1 by J d s 1 plus J d s 3 ok. For common mode signals? No, V naught by V c m what is that? We just calculated it right minus g m 1 by g m 3 times 1 by 2 g m 1 r naught plus 1. Is that ok? And yeah, but I mean the current is 0 what is the output impedance of this? We do not have any g d s s. So, it is infinity. So, the voltage output is uh, not 0 ok. So, it is slightly confusing, but that is how it is. If you assume that this is much greater than 1 approximately how much is this minus 1 by 2 g m 3 r naught you can use that as an approximation ok. So, if you have an arbitrary excitation v 1 and v 2 how will you find out the output voltage? Yeah you separate it into differential and common mode parts differential part will be multiplied by this common mode part will be multiplied by that ok. And an important feature of an op amp is what is known as a common mode. Uh, this is denoted by AD, the differential gain, and this is ACM, the common mode gain. And common mode rejection ratio, this is known, this is basically the absolute value of ACM by AD, ok. How much it rejects? No, rather, usually this is AD by ACM, ok. How much it rejects the common mode? changes as compared to the differential change ok. What is the ideal value of CMRR? Remember the op amp should only amplify the differential voltage. So, what is ideally CMRR? Infinity it should be infinity in reality it would not be infinite it will be some finite value how much is that? What will that be for our example? Hmm? Yeah, so it is basically this expression divided by that one ok. Is this fine? Yeah. Oh, which way does it go? So, positive terminal means if you want a positive increment at the output, which side will you push up, left side or the right side? If you want a positive increment at the output, that is, the, you want the output voltage to increase. Okay. So, which one will you increase the gate of m 1 or gate of m 2? M 1 yeah if you what happens is if the gate of m 1 increases and gate of m 2 decreases the current here in m 2 will fall down current in m 1 will increase that will come through the current mirror. So, the current being pushed up from the top will increase current being pulled down from the bottom will reduce. So, this node voltage will go up ok. So, that is why that is the and that is evident from the expression also we got the gain expression to be plus 2 m uh, plus g m 1 times uh, plus g m 1 divided by g d s 1 plus g d s 3 right. So, that means that uh, when v d is defined that way this terminal being positive output will be positive ok. So, you can see that for this uh, simple op amp we just have I mean we do not have any embellishments yet we will see the problems with this. The gain is like 
the gain of a single MOS transistor ok G M by G D S and the common mode gain is like the inverse of the gain of a single MOS transistor 1 over G M I mean this is like G D S by G M right R naught is basically G D S of the tail current source is not it common mode rejection ratio. So, if you look at an op amp data sheet this is one of the things that will be mentioned ok. So, this differential pair with current mirror load has a high com high differential gain and a small common mode gain. In fact, common mode gain is much smaller than 1 right. It is roughly speaking inverse of the transistors gain it is G D S 0 divided by 2 G M 3 ok. So, maybe the differential gain will be about 50 or 100 and the common mode gain will be about 0 0.01 or 0 0.02. So, the common mode rejection is very high. So, that is why this stage is the most popular input stage for any op amp ok. Every uh, op amp will start from this is ok. 